Hey, welcome back to Leffen's Cocktails. It's tiki time. Let's start out with the Shrunken Skull. The Shrunken Skull is probably the easiest tiki drink there is because there's just four ingredients and two of them are rum. So it's pretty simple to make and if you want to ease into tiki, this is definitely the way. It just has two rums, like I said, grenadine and lime juice and they're all equal parts, one ounce of each. It comes out to be a really great and delicious drink but I will recommend using like a homemade or high quality grenadine because something like roses is not going to cut through and really give that good full flavor that you want to make this drink what it really is. The original recipe calls for two different rums, a Demerara rum and a gold rum. For the Demerara rum, I'm using the Lemon Heart 1804, and for the gold rum, Havana Club 7 Year. If you're in the States and can't get Havana Club 7, or anywhere where you can't get Havana Club 7, something like a Bacardi aged 8 Year would also work, or a Don Q Gold, but this is what I have and that's what I'm gonna use. For tonight's grenadine, I'm using homemade, and this is that pomegranate juice you can buy in those little bubbly palm containers, and I kind of make like simple syrup with it. I put equal parts juice to sugar, boil it down, bottle it. It makes for a great grenadine. And then obviously just some lime juice. Fresh squeezed, of course. That's all. Let's start making this drink. Grab your shaker. First ingredient is going to be one ounce of our fresh squeezed lime juice. We're going to do one ounce of grenadine. One ounce of our gold rum. One ounce of our Demerara rum. Add some crushed ice. Now we're just gonna give it a quick whip shake for about three to five seconds, and then we're gonna pour it into our glass. There we go. We don't need to shake it too, too much because we're gonna get a lot of the cold and dilution from the crushed ice in the glass. All right, for this, we're just gonna open pour into our glass. Grab our bag of crushed ice. Just load some ice on in there. And we'll add our straw and our garnish tonight will do this nice hanging umbrella. Like so. Cheers, let's go Tiki. Mm -mm. Besides just looking great with this nice hanging umbrella, uh, it really tastes absolutely incredible and complex for being four ingredients. A lot of Tiki cocktails have five to 11 ingredients and they're kind of imposing to make, but this is really simple and yet packs all those complex flavors and deliciousness in just four. The Demerara rum that I use has a little bit of like a funkier sweet taste, so it's really full body and a little earthy. The Havana Club 7 brings that traditional column stilled, slightly sweet but flavorful rum into the mix. The lime juice, that nice bright tartness, and the grenadine, it really does taste a lot better and more fruity and really just overall blending better in this drink than like a, a store-bought roses or something. It really is a tasty cocktail. To be honest, I make this quite a bit when I just wanna be lazy and make a quick tiki drink because it's easy and you can really experiment with the rums. Because while the original calls for a Demerara and a gold rum, you can definitely switch it out with Jamaican, Trinidad, Barbados, whatever, and make any type of combination and just try things out and it's another good way to learn how your rums interact with one another, which is a pretty huge part of Tiki, learning how the rums combine and mix to make interesting and new drinks, because that's kind of what Tiki was. All using a basic daiquiri, grog, or planter's punch formula, pretty much, and mixing it up, adding different fruit juices, different combinations of rum, because it's still a wide category. It can taste wildly different from one another. And I gotta say, this particular mix works out really well. It's simple, it's delicious, it's Tiki. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now that it's getting warmer, we're definitely doing more Tiki.